الاستثمار في التقدم التكنولوجي له دور كبير على حياتنا، لكن الاستثمار في القطاع الصحي له دور أكبر، واللي يجعل هذا الاستثمار أكثر صعوبة ودقة. We always like doing something with somebody who's done it before, not just because we can learn from them, but also because it gives you new perspectives. Cleveland Clinic Abu Dhabi is a great example of partnership, but it's also a great example of fusing technology and innovation in medicine and healthcare. Robotic heart surgery accounts for the great majority of the type of heart interventions we do here in the hospital. Coming into this interview, I thought maybe that prefer the traditional methods of medicine over you know, using robotics, especially in other industries. I've worked with robotics for years and seeing how people react to these technologies being introduced into their daily lives. Not everyone is a big fan, uh, is a big fan of technology. So it's very interesting to see it from a medical perspective. Most people think the robot is doing surgery. The robot actually is not. It's the surgeon and it's the exact same surgery that you would do open, but very fine instruments which are human-like. Um, what the robot did brought wrist management. So the, the instruments are like hands, but they're inside a human being and the hands are controlled by the surgeon from a distance. So it, it's very cool, even from an engineering point of view, but from a cosmesis point of view, from a blood loss point of view, from a return to work point of view, it really changed the paradigm. We used to say heart surgery, you'll be out for six to eight to 12 weeks. Now we say you only have to be out for two weeks. You're applying technology. You're encouraging doctors to say, hey, look, we have an environment here in Abu Dhabi at Cleveland Clinic where we're encouraging medicine being practiced at the cutting edge of both science and technology. The technology is required to think outside the window. But this is not the meaning that our thoughts must be connected. Maybe the small technology will solve the bigger problems. And what did you do, Leslie Drake, the president of the company Outset Medical, with their company, Tableau, a small device for the blood? Dialysis has not really changed over the last 30 years. Uh, we're still using equipment from the 80s. The, the whole care delivery model sort of been frozen in time. Patients have really only had one choice around where to go and get this life-sustaining therapy, which is in a dialysis clinic. And so our vision from the beginning was to use technology for a larger purpose and not technology for technology's sake, but technology as an agent of change in the whole care delivery model. And our definition of that was enabling more people to dialyze at home, where we felt they would have a better chance of sort of uh, dialyzing to live versus living to, to dialyze. And so eventually the R&D vision became, could we make kind of the Swiss Army knife? Could we fold in the functionality of five or six different dialysis machines all into one? Uh, Tableau is about 36 inches tall. So we thought about 36 inches on wheels so that we could offer hospitals and health systems a simpler, you know, more cost-effective, more sustainable solution for dialysis that enabled them to use one device platform, whether that was in the ICU or in the home. Tableau has 3,500 components in it and about 500,000 lines of code. <laughs> and then we decided to wrap a whole data ecosystem, two-way wireless data transmission, as well as predictive algorithms, machine learning, that ultimately make the Tableau machines smarter over time. In terms of simplicity, it should be easy enough for a fifth grader to use it, really without even hardly needing to read or write English. The first time we ever treated somebody on Tableau, it was years ago, he had just used Tableau really for the first couple of weeks. And so he said that he had been able to go back to work even on his dialysis days because he didn't feel like he'd been on dialysis.